Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. This is just a quick look into what we know about the upcoming Shira class. Alright, let's get started. Based on the skill set from the test server, the Shura will have another one-hit KO skill like the Guillotine Fist. Unlike the Guillotine Fist, Gate of Hell deals more damage the more HP that you lose. So instead of SP increasing equipments, Shura can now focus on increasing their damage and max HP. Gate of Hell deals force neutral physical damage to a single target and for every 10% loss HP, the damage of this skill increases by 50%. If you use Gate of Hell while using Chi Injection, 30% of your current HP will be deducted and Gate of Hell can be used without casting. Chi Injection consumes SP every second and plays Shura into charging state. If you enable level 100 totem, the Shura's move speed will increase by 15%. In addition, Gate of Hell damage increases every second of charging. After 3 seconds, the casting distance of Gate of Hell will increase by 3. After 5 seconds of charging, Gate of Hell damage increases again and makes it an AoE fan shape in front of Shura. Using the skill True Self Blood Burning Power reduces the HP of Shura to 10% for 3 seconds. The Gate of Hell automatically hit all enemies within range, and for every 10% loss HP, the damage increases by 3%. Having the following Nexus talents increases the Gate of Hell damage further. In addition, you can use Gentle Touch Cure to restore your HP. The healing rate depends on your physical attack. For the weapon, another skill is Earth Shaker. This skill deals physical damage to all enemies within 4 meters and reduces their move speed by 20%. In addition, the skill reveals hidden target and deals 3 times damage instead. With the Earthquake Shock talent, the Earth Shaker will also reduce all the enemy's attack speed and increases their fixed cast time by 20%. For the fast strike build, there will be additional effects when using one skill after casting another skill. Using Dragon Combo deals 2 times neutral physical damage, and if you have Tiger Tooth effect, then this skill will inflict stun status and deal additional damage. If you use Dragon Combo after using Shura Power Strike, then you will gain a Dragon Fang effect. Using Power Strike deals neutral physical damage and knocks the target back 4 meters and will inflict stun status to enemies that bump along the way. If the target hits a wall, they will be stunned for 1 second. Casting the skill again after 1 second add 1 stack of Dragon Tooth effect. Using Tiger Cannon deals neutral physical damage to the target and when you use Tiger Cannon, you will gain 1 stack of Tiger Tooth Effect. Using True Self Dragon Walking Tiger Steps deals neutral physical damage that ignores physical defense. It will refresh the cooldown of Tiger Cannon and enter the True Self Stance for 1 second. In the True Self Stance, the duration of effects are increased by 5 seconds. The combo skills will deal more damage and the cooldown of all the skills are reduced by 1 second and the spirit orbs are returned. If the enemy dies within 3 seconds or Shura hits the target with another skill within 1.5 seconds, the effect will continue and can be triggered for 3 times. You can use the following Nexus talents for this build.
Alright, that's it for the video. Please help me out by dropping a like. And last but not the least, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on our next video. Thank you for watching.